Okay, good morning. I welcome all of the students uh, to uh, our course, Introductory Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering. I hope uh, all of you are uh, in sound health uh, as the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is still waving uh, with a new variant, Omicron. Uh, we have been uh, attending or delivering the course online since June 2020. And meanwhile, uh, I hope you have experienced a lot. Uh, introductory Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering is only one course from the Institute of Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering uh, during your undergrad program in the Faculty of Agriculture. Uh, over the years of my experiences in uh, delivering this course, I found and the BS student, uh, the uh, took this class as very exciting and I found they enjoyed very much. And my job is to be with you to make your journey enjoyable, enjoyable because we are now in the 21st century. And this century is called the century of information technology and biotechnology. And in this century, biotechnology and algorithms, computational science, will embrace together and make at least two revolutions. Fourth industrial revolutions is going on and fifth is coming. So you can see a dramatic changes uh, in your life. Let me start with the current COVID-19 pandemic. Perhaps you know that when it was first appeared in Wuhan uh, city of uh, China uh, in December 2019, scientists first used biotechnology that is genome sequence of that virus. And within a week, they confirmed, what is it? They named SARS-CoV-2, Severe Acute Respiratory Coronavirus 2. It is the causal organism of influenza-like symptoms uh, in some people in the Wuhan city. Soon uh, after that detection, by genomic analysis, the disease spread to all over the country very fast, including our motherland, and killed thousands of people worldwide. And even it is killing uh, people uh, now uh, at least 10,000 per day. What uh, scientists did, biotechnologists immediately developed its molecular diagnostic protocol, which is called reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR. And that RT-PCR immediately deployed in all countries for tackling the disease. That means to keep isolated the infected person uh, and uh, confirm whether COVID-19, the disease named COVID-19. And it was another landmark work, third landmark work in the human history, the discovery of uh, vaccine. In the human history, uh, the shortest time required for vaccine was four years and six months. And in the most cases, it took 
12 years, 16 years to develop vaccine. But in case of COVID-19, as biotechnologists are equipped with advanced uh, technologies, they use the technology and within 11 months, they developed vaccine against the disease. And due to the deployment of the vaccine, okay. the disease is severity is decreased. Okay, this is the uh, one real life story for all of us related to the biotechnology. As you all know that in this virtual class, you are attending from the remote. So what I suggest, uh, please use your photograph as you are not in video, at least you use your photograph so that I can see who are attending. This is number one. Number two, please keep you mute during the class. Whatever the reason, please do not come, uh, you know, uh, uh, do unmute because your class is uh, on recording. So if you make a noise, it would be a problem. Third point is that uh, I always record the class uh, so that if someone miss the, uh, misses the class or somehow due to connectivity problem, uh, they miss to listen my class or watch my class thoroughly. They can repeat it. I shall. Uh, I usually download it uh, in the in a YouTube a channel. I have a YouTube channel for uh, the students, so you can find my class over there. And you all know other norms in the virtual classroom. Uh, the, your attendance will be recorded automatically and attendance is very critical uh, for uh, your exam uh, or your good grade. Uh, uh, and last point is that uh, after the delivery of my talk, please participate in asking questions and making comments because virtual classroom uh, is different from physical classroom. Uh, what you can do during my lecture, you can make note and uh, to ask the question. So you can ask question directly or in the chat box. And it would make our learning process interactive and effective. If you do not ask the question, then I couldn't understand uh, what you really understood or not. I am going to start uh, showing uh, some of the slides. Now we have 91 students uh, joined in this uh, lecture. This is really uh, uh, good. I want to see 100% students are attending the course. Please tell me whether you can see the slide. Slide is yes, visible, sir. Is it visible? Yes, sir. And it is. Is it moving? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Sir. Yeah, please. Uh, yes, our course title is Introductory Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering. BTL 4810 and I am uh, Tufajjol Islam. My name is Tufajjol Islam. Uh, I am a, a, a professor in the uh, Institute of Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering. This institute, uh, until 2019, it was a department of uh, the Faculty of Agriculture, Department of Biotechnology. But after uh, the establishment of introductory biotechnology and genetic engineering, I was the founding director. Uh, 
the existence of the Department of Biotechnology is abolished. That means all the resources uh, uh, of the uh, Department of Biotechnology is now uh, merged with the inter, uh, uh, Institute of Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering. And I, I guess uh, during uh, this COVID-19 pandemic, you may have participated some of the live uh, talk uh, or uh, somehow know me. And if you do not know me well, uh, what you can do to Fajul Islam, you can browse Google and you can find me in Wikipedia and thousands of uh, links. So that would be uh, enough. Uh, this is why I am not going to tell details of me. Briefly, I graduated from Bangladesh Agricultural University uh, in early 90s. Uh, and uh, then I studied uh, Hokkaido University in Japan for seven years and also studied at University of Göttingen, Germany, University of Nottingham, UK, and uh, West Virginia University in the US. So I have been in abroad for more than 10 years uh, and tried to equip myself to be a good teacher and good researcher for uh, you and other students. Here is the uh, team members of our IBG. Uh, you can see me here and beside me, doc, uh, right, uh, right side, Dr. Ashraful. Uh, he is a professor and currently director of IBG. And then the bearded uh, man, uh, Professor Dr. Mahabub Rahman. And left side, uh, Dr. Dipali Rani Gupta. And bottom, uh, Dr. Naeem uh, and uh, Ms. Uh, Musra Jahan Shurubi. And Musra Jahan Shurubi, she is doing PhD at University of Göttingen in Germany. But all others, they uh, hold the PhD as well as postdoctoral training and very good team. And you may, uh, during your course, you may meet some of them through virtually. Yes, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we are living uh, in the 21st century. In the 21st century, uh, a global citizen embrace everything around uh, you are science. And the philosopher, Carl Edward Sagan, American philosopher, he told, uh, quote, we are arranged a civilization in higher, most crucial elements profoundly depend on science and technology. So everything you can see around you, even at the tools we are using for the lecture are science and technology. And uh, we, we uh, are living, uh, even the food we are eating, they are science and technology. Uh, I would like to uh, show you the uh, course summary, the course you are going to attend. Uh, uh, the, you can see the slide. The course is mainly designed to introduce basic concepts, scopes, importance and entrepreneurship of biotechnology and genetic engineering in agriculture, environment and industry. It illustrates and discusses principal, principles of classical such as tissue culture and frontier such as genome, uh, CRISPR cas genome editing, technologies of biotechnology and their practical applications. It delivers knowledge on nanotechnology, genomics, bioinformatics, post-genomics, genetic engineering techniques for improvement of plant, microorganisms, and other organisms for developing climate smart agriculture as well as industry. It introduces biosafety and biosecurity guidelines and also issues necessary for safer application of biotechnology and genetic engineering. So this is the course summary and I shall share with you the course uh, content 
and delivery mode and other things. You know that recently our course structure uh, has been changed due to the uh, government a decision to make all the courses and curricula uh, outcome based. So it is called outcome based education. That means you must know what would be the outcome of your course. Uh, after the course, what do you get? So I shall share with you. Although our all masters and PhD courses course title is BGE, Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering, which is linked to our IBGE. But uh, undergrad course, course title is still BTA because it has not yet been um, passed by the Academic Council. In future, you will see BGE 410. So today's uh, objectives of the lecture to describe basic concepts of biotechnology and genetic engineering to explain the scope and application of biotechnology and genetic engineering to define gene or genome editing including crispr cas9 obviously most of the terms uh, are not familiar or may not familiar to you but doesn't matter don't worry uh, uh, the unknown, learning unknown is the most exciting, I think, at your age, for even uh, at any age of the uh, human life. To introduce some applications of biotechnology and genetic engineering. Uh, so lecture view uh, overview is concept and potentials of biotechnology for food security. Why we need biotechnology? to ensure food security. Why food security? Even, you know, the age of agriculture, that domestication of crops and animals uh, started 10,000 years ago, uh, based on the archeological evidences. We know that our forefathers started agriculture 10 to 12,000 years ago, and since at uh, uh, the beginning of agriculture. Till now, food security is a big problem. And in the, uh, on the earth now, 7.4 billion people are living. Among them, nearly 2 billion uh, people are going to bed at night with hungry stomach. And hungry people are, you know, angry people and there is no curse than the, you know, uh, food starvation. And this is why the United Nations uh, organization, they uh, declared uh, SDG goals, perhaps you know that SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 goals, but the second one is to make the earth free from hunger, that is zero hunger. So food security is a very big problem. And it is very important for our country because our population is increasing fast, but food production is increasing slowly. Uh, currently our population around 16 or 17 crore, but it is estimated that it would reach uh, up to 25 crore by the year 2050. At that time, the world population would be 10 billion. And to feed the increased population, we need to increase our food production 70 to 100%. So it's a formidable uh, challenge. And biotechnology is considered one of the tools for attaining the food security. We shall discuss more later. Another uh, uh, challenging issue, clean environment. Clean environment, you know, due to uh, the use of various agrochemicals and hu anthropogenic human activities. We are always polluting the environment. So keep the environment free, 
is important for sustainability of the earth and as well as our life. Uh, dirty environment is also causing serious diseases uh, in human and other organisms, destroying the biodiversity. Third one, sound health. Sound health of whom? Sound health of the plant, sound health of you, uh, your animals, sound health obviously of human and plant health, soil health even, uh, or uh, other uh, animals health are connected to the human health. And uh, fourth point is industrial development. Yes, industrial revolution uh, has been started in 17th century uh, by the discovery of uh, engine uh, by James Watt in UK. Uh, after that, uh, you know, uh, there are there were several industrial revolution. Uh, and we are now running fourth industrial revolution. Uh, so industry is uh, making everything, human job is now transforming to the machine. And uh, robotics or automation system is coming, you know, everywhere. Uh, so industrial development, how connected to the biotechnology we shall discuss. Better life, yes, our ultimate goal to ensure the better life and safe life of the human. For example, uh, COVID-19 uh, is destroying the, uh, you know, uh, our system, our life, and it made a paradigm shift in the uh, human activity on this earth. Uh, this is very simple graph I made based on the uh, literature available on the earth. You can see very simple world population until uh, the indust first industrial revolution, almost static, less than 1 billion. How? Due to, uh, you know, different diseases, different natural calamities, people who are very helpless, they have not uh, enough weapons to protect the natural disasters. Uh, as a result, population are uh, remain almost same. But after industrial revolution and then green revolution in mid 20th century, uh, the human population is, you can see, 7.4 billion. It is increasing, uh, you know, very fast because you know, uh, you have the science, you have the technology. Uh, as a result, you can uh, protect yourself. Uh, for example, in Spanish flu, uh, in eight, uh, uh, you know, uh, 100 years ago, uh, it caused around uh, death of 10 crore people on the earth. But uh, COVID, SARS-CoV-2, uh, the death toll is much lower because of you have the technology. For example, vaccine, or uh, molecular detection method that helped us to protect us uh, from this uh, dangerous virus. Another big problem is on the earth is global warming. As I mentioned, industrial revolution made us very powerful, but it uh, caused some problem. That is, uh, industrial revolution is based on burning of fossil fuel, uh, and fossil fuel burning causes causes you know increase of carbon dioxide and other other greenhouse gases on the atmosphere. As a result, uh, the global uh, temperature is increasing, and it is called global warming, or generally it is termed as climate change and you can see only the last 100 years, 0.7 degrees Celsius average temperature is increased, but it is huge. Uh, a one degree Celsius increase means a hugely change the life cycle and activity and, uh, you know, geological and other uh, 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 phys physical and biological process on the earth dramatically change. This is why cyclone, cyclone storm or extreme weather events we can see, uh, uh, which is a big threat for agriculture as well as the life. 
and uh, climate change not only affect our food uh, it affect the uh, energy food and water and, the, and it has been uh, considered one of the big threat for the uh, earth so everyone needs to work together to address it and biotechnology is considered uh, one of the tool to be used not only in agriculture every aspects uh, to address uh, some of the uh, you know problems associated with the global climate change you know green revolution as i mentioned uh, uh, do you know who led the green revolution uh, professor uh, dr norman borlaug he started the journey in mexico in 1943 and uh, he developed hilding uh, and this is resistant wheat variety after that you know um, the green revolution also uh, evolved very fast and it helped us for ensuring food security uh, uh, but it causes environmental degradation that means green revolution helped us avoid widespread famine before green revolution famine was a big uh, famine and manga was you know everywhere happened in bangladesh many people died due to starvation but green revolution helped us to uh, you know uh, send the uh, famine and manga to the museum and uh, fed billions of people on the earth but it caused uh, a big problem that is deterioration of natural resources that is it affected soil uh, as well as water uh, uh, biodiversity and even human health uh, uh, green revolution technologies includes huge chemical uh, and uh, other inputs for example uh, pesticides uh, chemical fertilizer synthetic pesticides they polluted our uh, environment and fish you cannot find uh, fish uh, in the rivers most of the fishes are uh, in the river are diminished due to the chemicals and residue of the chemicals are coming to our uh, body through food chain and it is also affecting human health obviously the biodiversity so this is a big concern soil health is direct plant health directly related to plant health plant health is directly related to the health of human as well as other organisms because on the earth plant green plant only can uh, uh, trap the solar energy to convert into chemical energy uh, and it is the only uh, photosynthetic process is only process which is uh, critical for the uh, existence of all living organisms on this earth even including human green revolution seems unable to meet future food security and made agriculture highly dependent on fossil fuels uh, uh, if you see last five years data in Bangladesh, the food uh, uh, productivity increase is uh, very slow. Uh, and uh, it means that uh, the yield increase is now at the plateau. Uh, you cannot increase uh, food as you desire. Uh, this is why we need, uh, and we, uh, for Green Revolution, we use fossil fuel so uh, we need uh, uh, something alternative and biotechnology and uh, knowledge-based um, uh, technology is considered one of the effective tools for future food security here i can show you uh, a graph you can see uh, the pink one food grain increase food grain from 1952 if you come now increasing a fast but after uh, 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 2000, uh, they're increasing slowly, but fertilizer application uh, in the field is increasing uh, dramatically. That means per unit of fertilizer, uh, uh, you cannot get the higher grain yield in the um, very low grain yield in the field. That means uh, fertilizer uh, application, you are increasing, but as uh, uh, plants are not responding it is due to the 
deterioration of the soil health. As an agriculturist, you know, uh, we apply only few elements, essential elements at fertilizers, but if soil health is uh, not enough organic matter and not enough microorganism, uh, beneficial microorganism in the soil, fertilizer use would not give you enough outcome. So, um, let me define our, uh, the term biotechnology. Uh, and in your exam, you can find this question. And as a, a student of this course, you must be interested to know it. It is a very simple definition is that using uh, scientific methods with organisms to produce new products or new forms of organisms is called biotechnology. More academic, uh, definition is any technological application that uses biological systems, living organisms, or derivatives thereof to make or modify products or processes for specific use. For example, uh, COVID vaccine. Uh, perhaps some of you uh, uh, took the uh, uh, AstraZeneca vaccine. In case of AstraZeneca vaccine, um, uh, adenovirus, which uh, is used the base and, you know, uh, the uh, RNA for uh, biosynthesis of the spike protein, uh, adenovirus from monkey, which cannot infect uh, the human, uh, they added the uh, uh, RNA, uh, which is associated with the synthesis of, uh, 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 that is, uh, uh, synthesis of spike protein, you know, uh, in the COVID-19 uh, virus you have seen. So spike protein uh, is there, but it cannot infect human. Human cell can have the powerful sensory system. So it can sense the uh, presence of uh, virus uh, due to the surface spike protein and immediately activate the defense system. So these are uh, using the virus uh, people, uh, you know, did some engineering job. Similarly, the Moderna and Pfizer and other vaccine people use RNA uh, technology. Uh, so uh, RNA, DNA, or protein, they are the, you know, uh, materials associated with the living organisms. So they are the derivative or the product. So biotechnology is not exactly new. It is very old, even um, 1,500 uh, 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 years before the birth of Christ. Fermentation technology has been practiced, uh, like yeast for bread, uh, fermented juice, fruit juice, wine, or alcohol, brewing industry for making the beer, and that has been uh, found uh, in the very old days uh, through the archaeological uh, evidences. Until uh, those technologies are fermentation technology, is, uh, technologies are the biggest technology in the earth and providing lots of product for us. So there are different kinds of biotechnology. Red biotechnology is biotechnology applied to medical processes, for example, to prepare the RNA vaccines. So um, make the antibiotics or engineering uh, uh, or using gene therapy for the disease or like that. Uh, white biotechnology or gray biotechnology deals with the industrial processes. Uh, example is the designing of an organism to produce a useful chemical. For example, insulin. Insulin, you know, very important uh, 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 biomolecule uh, synthesized in the pancreas, uh, especially the beta cell of the uh, pancreas, uh, islets of Langerhans, and insulin is essential for the metabolism of uh, sugar, uh, glucose in our blood. 
but in case of diabetic patient, insulin resistance and other problems are real uh, issue. Uh, we cannot donate insulin, but scientists discovered how human biosynthesize insulin in their cell. So uh, same uh, you know, genes, they transfer to the microorganisms, yeast and bacteria. Now yeast and bacteria are producing insulin and all over the world, you cannot find a single country who are not using genetically modified insulin um, that means insulin produced by the gmo uh, process and it is an industrial biotechnology and saving billi uh, billions of life and green biotechnology is the biotechnology that we are dealing as an agriculturist uh, the application of biotechnology in the practical field uh, an example is the designing of transgenic plants we have bt brinjal you know egg plant or brinjal which carries a gene from the uh, bacillus thuringiensis it is uh, the gene name is cry one sc gene why we introduced this gene into the genome of DNA of uh, uh, brinjal? Because brinjal is prone to brinjal fruit and shoot borer. Uh, and this is a dangerous uh, pathogen. Uh, and uh, Bt toxin is toxic for that insect. So we uh, not, uh, are not using the toxin as a spray. We uh, put the gene that can biosynthesize that Bt toxin. Bt toxin is not toxic for human and other organisms because that endotoxin require alkaline system uh, for its activity. Otherwise, it is not toxic. So in case of insect, uh, their gut mouth parts is alkaline, but in our whole system, gut system uh, are acidic. Acidity is sometimes a big problem. So Bt uh, 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 brinjal uh, is the only one uh, genetically modified uh, and advanced biotechnology which has been introduced, which was introduced in 2014 and has been used by uh, six, uh, more than 60,000 farmers uh, all over the country. Uh, there are, uh, 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 in other countries, there are lots of uh, BT technology. In our country, golden rice is now in the process, which contains vitamin A. Uh, naturally, rice is not contains vitamin A. So these are the uh, advanced biotechnology genetic engineering, and uh, it is called green biotechnology. Another biotechnology is highly promising and less explored that is called blue biotechnology. Uh, that is marine and aquatic application of biotechnology. In our case, in Bangladesh, monosex tilapia, you know, big size tilapia, and in aquaculture, Bangladesh in aquaculture is very famous, but marine application of marine biotechnology is yet to be happened in Bangladesh. And it is called blue biotechnology and blue biotechnology is the instrument for blue economy of the country. So I would like to uh, stop uh, uh, my lecture soon and here you can see generation for example your mobile phone uh, is always you know needs update biotechnology is also updating last uh, uh, you know uh, uh, term genetic engineering i want to coin with you dna sequence of any organism can be changed it was the concept and genetic engineering means changing the dna in living organism to create something new. That means, you know, in the DNA is a molecule which is a black box of keeping all the uh, information of an organism, traits of an organism. For example, we have black hair, uh, contain, uh, which is regu uh, regulated by some gene present in the DNA. And gene is the segment of, small segment of the DNA. So if you can make change in that segment, your hair could, uh, could be the golden or like that. So genetically a modified organism means you modify the genetic makeup that is uh, in the DNA. And now lots of examples to do that, as I mentioned, Bt brinjal and uh, even uh, GM uh, yeast or GM E. coli bacteria 
uh, for producing the insulin. So this is the uh, 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 concept of biotechnology and genetic engineering. If you introduce a new gene, for example, a Bt gene into the genome of DNA of uh, eggplant, uh, the gene origin of the gene is uh, uh, from the different species. This is why the product is called a transgenic organism. That is, Bt uh, eggplant is a transgenic organism. But if you uh, take it from another wild relative, for example, Solanum uh, species, uh, then it would be cisgenic. And nowadays, without bringing any gene from other organisms, you can also modify the DNA sequence uh, by editing like Photoshop. And it is called gene editing. And gene editing is the uh, most advanced and revolutionary technique. Uh, 2020 uh, Nobel Prize in Chemistry owned by two ladies, uh, Jennifer and Emmanuel, they discovered the most precise genetically, uh, genetic modification that is gene editing technology. Any techniques using site-directed mutagenesis to make small changes to DNA sequence at known location is called gene editing or genome editing. That means in the DNA, there are some bad sequence also uh, causes uh, cancer or diabetes. If you change that uh, sequence or delete uh, uh, very precisely uh, like Photoshop, then uh, uh, you will be free from the cancer, you will be free from the diabetes, and it is called genome editing. And we shall uh, uh, discuss how molecular scissors are used to precisely uh, edit the uh, genome sequence. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, please, uh, please go through the term CRISPR cas. Uh, CRISPR means clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats and CAS means CRISPR associated uh, enzyme or protein. So these two together can be used as a molecular scissor for specifically edit the DNA sequence. So this is all about my today's lecture. This is the first lecture. I should not uh, talk too much. I would like to uh, listen something from you. So please share uh, some of your uh, you know, uh, feeling, how you are feeling from uh, 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 your point of view about this course. And uh, if you have any uh, you know, uh, desire or comment uh, to make our journey uh, uh, effective or enjoyable, because I always uh, try to make the student's life easy, uh, try, uh, try to uh, uh, make their journey enjoyable. As, uh, even um, uh, undergrad student, I allow to work in the laboratory. Some of them even published paper with working with us. And we have the, we are the number one in uh, the in, uh, public universities and private universities to have advanced facilities for doing biotechnology and genetic engineering, which I uh, developed over last, uh, you know, 12 years. Thank you from my side. So now it is your uh, turn to ask a few questions. And if you do not ask the question, it would be uh, another uh, problem. I shall ask you a question. So please, un uh, you know, unmute and ask the question. Salam alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam, Rakibul. Sir, why biotechnology example? White biotechnology. White biotechnology is industrial, gray biotechnology is industrial biotechnology. For example, the vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine is an example. Okay, and there are lots of enzymes we are now producing for our poultry industry, garment industry. They are white biotechnology. If you make, a, a, you know, biotech products by using in, a industry, for example, production of in, uh, insulin or production of antibiotics, they are white biotechnologies. Thank you, Rakibul, for the asking the first question. You will get some reward in uh, future <laughs> from my side. Thank you, sir. 
Now, welcome. Any other question? Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum salam. Please tell your name. And sir, I'm Jubair. Jubair, please. Sir, I'm a question. Hello. I'm with sir, BT technology. I'm with sir, BT technology. So, it is a controversy, sir. Jamon, sir, I'm the last term. It is a controversy. Confusion create for subject. The Amade digestive system of Kisota basic part as a Karyong Shutaka, the digestive system to eject a summit to confusion. Amade Banglai Boli, Amade digestive system a Karyo Takar Kuru Karone. To me, Judy, Amade human digestive system poro. A can a hydrochloric acid or moto acid nistrito hoy. Shop Gulu enzyme. Uh, incredibly toxic sometimes eto at a, a, a incredibly acidic eto acidic hoy tomake tokhon antacid khete hoy ha kaje amader food digestion er ei basic principle tai hocche acidity eta hocche ek second hocche eta ei porjonto oshongko research kora hoyeche mammalian system e je ei bt ta Bind korekina BT uh, toxin ta karon jekuno toxin active hoto hole to make receptor takta hobe. Shudu alkaline hole hobe na. Oi membrane er modde uh, BT ke bind korar moto kuno toxin nai. She jono eta amader a uh, uh, digestive system e borog BT protein ta oita benge jai. এবং তখন এটার কোনো অস্তিত্বই থাকে না. এবং আমাদের blood e atoba tomar ei Mammalian system er blood e oshongko experiment kore dekha geche je BT, BT toxin orthod BT protein uh, detect kora jay na kaje no ori onek shomoy ei controversy ta toiri hoy those who uh, 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 do not know the science ekhane hocche shompurno science jemon mone koro je amra covid 19 vaccine niyechi prithibir bohu desher bohu lok kintu vaccine niche na even highly educated uh, 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 people uh, in the developed country karon tader ekta misconception je eta nile boro rokomer ekta khoti hoye jete pare kintu amader deshe kintu amader lok jon onek smart tara kintu uh, ei covid uh, vaccine er against kono missile tisil kore nai they took the vaccine uh, like that any new technology people will make you know uh, controversy and make debate and most of the uh, people who are debating if you see they do not know the details of the uh, technology this is the big problem uh, okay yes sir i mean bus এবং আরেকটা জিনিস বলি বিটি জিন ইন্ট্রোডিউস করেছে এই প্লান্টের মধ্যে মূল প্রবলেমটা হচ্ছে কি এই প্লান্ট যে ভ্যারাইটি গুলোতে ইন্ট্রোডিউস করেছে এইটাতে ব্রিঞ্জাল ফ্রুট এন্ড শুট গোরার ইনফেকশন হচ্ছে না কিন্তু আদার অনেক ডিজিজ হচ্ছে আদার অনেক ইনসেক্ট আসছে কারণ ওদের জন্য তো কোনো প্রোটেকশন বায়োটেক নাই কিন্তু কৃষক যদি মনে করে যে আর কোন রোগ হবে না আর কোন পোকা ধরবে না তাহলে কিন্তু ভুল করবে তখন দোষ যাবে কি যে এই বিটিটা কাজ করছে না এটা হচ্ছে স্পেসিফিক একটা ইনসেক্টের এগেইনস্টে করা হয়েছে টেকনোলজিটা Okay, Amra debate Corbo. Bibino Bishoe Johon debate Corba to me, Argu Corba, a Tokun Tumar a topic to clear Hobe, Amar Mone Hoju director, fantastic question Koreche, even Amadir Professor Der Modo, Jara Biotech Shumpork, clear conception lie, Tara Uni Crocomeri, Rukum, sweeping by easy comment Kore, easy comment Kora, Amadir Deshe, Etaku, a common paper. Even big big issue that by Jacob like John Lehman at a comment opinion the other way. I mean, I'm a student that can be critical. Jetta detail Najano, it at a comment a corbana rather to me question corba to me Jana Chesta corba. Can to comment Kotole, you have to know the uh, 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 science or information in detail and thoroughly. Next question, I mean, Arecta question at least Asha Kuchi. Sir, Assalamu alaikum. Anunna, yes. Sir, CRISPR is 9. CRISPR is 9. You shall have a full length lecture. 
on CRISPR Cas9 genome editing. Uh, over the years of my experience, you know, CRISPR Cas9 genome editing uh, was discovered by two ladies, one from Europe, Jennifer uh, 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 Emmanuel, and another from USA, Jennifer. They discovered this technology in 2012 and 2020 they got the Nobel Prize jointly in chemistry and this technology is very simple and the most revolutionary technology in the uh, human history and it is you know uh, uh, you know the virus very well nowadays uh, and also know the bacteria bacteria virus not only infect okay. the human they also infect the, uh, you know, viruses, uh, a, a bacteria. Virus also infect the bacteria, but bacteria over the years, they developed an immune system, cutting the, uh, you know, DNA or RNA sequence from the virus and then put into their own genome. And that uh, a, a cut uh, a DNA with the, you know, enzyme, they can recognize next time if virus, uh, in fact, them, they can recognize and then they use that molecular scissor enzyme. Enzyme is the molecular scissor to cut the viral DNA. Uh, as a result, virus cannot infect the uh, bacteria. So it is an adaptive immune system of bacteria scientists discovered Uber, you know, 1987 to 2012. They spent huge time to understand why clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats are present in the uh, uh, bacterial genome. That means a cluster of uh, you know, nucleotides uh, after certain interval in the bacterial genome, uh, they uh, evolved it from the virus. And with a coupled enzyme, they cut the DNA of uh, next invading virus. So it is a, a, a super, you know, molecular biology by bacteria to cut the pathogen. But in human, unfortunately, we are smart enough, but we have no such thing. But scientists thought that how can we utilize this immune system for cutting the DNA uh, outside the uh, bacteria? And in the test tube, they prove it. So now, if you target a specific DNA of any organism, you can design a guide RNA. It is called guide RNA, complementary sequence, and put the CRISPR enzyme or protein, and uh, then uh, you know introduce into the cell, and it can edit the sequence. Edit means, for example, a bad. Uh, you know, mutation in the uh, uh, DNA, which is causing uh, or responsible for breast cancer. And CRISPR can cut and, uh, uh, you know, damage that uh, sequence. As a result, no protein can be synthesized for tumor producing cell. So it would be free from whole life, no need chemotherapy or like that. So in the plant uh, at BSMRU, you know, wheat blast is a devastating pathogen for wheat. We uh, edited our wheat genome uh, uh, to remove, uh, you know, or dysfunctional 10 S genes. S genes mean genes responsible for uh, cooperating the disease pathogen, fungus, magna proteorizi. And we are getting the gene edited wheat for the first time uh, in South Asia, even in the world, uh, uh, which is resistant to blast fungus. So it is like Photoshop. I shall discuss uh, in detail in uh, last, uh, you know, uh, batch, uh, all the students that did lots of assignment on application of CRISPR-Cas genome editing uh, in different organisms, how it can make big revolution in future. Uh, Simon, so what is the difference between uh, GMO and transgenic organism? GMO and transgenic organism, what is the difference? All transgenic organisms are GMO. That means genetically modified, but all uh, GMO are not transgenic. This is a very nice question, uh, honestly, because if gen gene edited product, for example, no transgene is used, only bad gene is removed, silenced, or somehow 
one or two nucleotide is you know mutated in that case no transgene is there but its dna is modified this is why we can uh, now we are calling them gene edited product not exactly gmo but obviously they are also gmo or genetically modified excellent question now uh, this batch uh, your batch seems very smart batch because in the first class people always feel shy to ask question but you are very smart i really uh, uh, very impressed sir biotechnology are plan bidding dui tar moddhe one tofat theke dui ta tei to amra dna sequence ta change korte chhi yes uh, uh, that uh, difference is very simple plan bidding the last 100 years helped us a lot for ensuring the food security what you can do ekta dhan mone koro je lobonaktota sohonshil tar sathe ekta ei lobonaktota ei ki bola jay ei songvedonshiler tumi ekta crossing korla crossing kore ei gene ta ke transfer korar shomoy desirable undesirable sob gene kintu move kore ফলে এটা পনেরো বছরের মতো লাগে ব্যাক ক্রসিং করে এটা ক্লিন করতে এটা হচ্ছে একটা মানে এটা প্রিসাইজ না এই জিন ট্রান্সফারটা সেকেন্ড হচ্ছে ব্রিডিং এ শুধুমাত্র ধানের সাথে ধানের ক্রসিং করতে পারবা করে এটার ব্রিডিং করতে পারবা কিন্তু ধানের সাথে পাটের করতে পারবা না ধানের সাথে মানুষের করতে পারবা না ধানের সাথে ব্যাকটেরিয়ার করতে পারবা না কিন্তু বায়োটেকনোলজি হচ্ছে বর্ডার ক্রস করেছে তারা একেবারে প্রিসাইজলি কোন জিনটাকে ট্রান্সফার করছে এটা যে কোনো সোর্স থেকে হোক এটা যদি ক্লোন করা এবং কারেক্টারাইজ করা থাকে তখন এটাকে ইন্ট্রোডিউস করতে পারে কাজেই বায়োটেকনোলজি অ্যান্ড জেনেটিক্যালি জেনেটিক ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং এই জেনেটিক্স অ্যান্ড প্লান্ট ব্রিডিং ইনক্রেডিবলি ডিফারেন্ট কারণ এখানে হচ্ছে প্রিসাইজ একেবারে প্রিসাইজ আর ওখানে হচ্ছে র্যান্ডম যেমন এই এই তোমার মনে করো মৌমাসির মাধ্যমেও কিন্তু প্লান্ট ব্রিডিং হচ্ছে ক্রস পলিনেটেড প্লান্টের ক্ষেত্রে পোলের এক জায়গা থেকে আরেক আরেক জায়গায় যাচ্ছে এবং এটা জানে না কোন জিন কোন প্ল্যান্ট থেকে এটা আসছে যেমন আমাদের কাঁঠালের কোনো জাত নাই এর কারণ হচ্ছে কি র্যান্ডমলি এই এই ব্রিডিং হচ্ছে কিন্তু তুমি যখন বায়োটেকনোলজি ইউজ করবা যেমন বিটি स्मार्टफोन तुम्हें लक्ष्य कर তোমরা তোমাদের চ্যাট বক্সে কোশ্চেন করতে পারবা ফেসবুক গ্রুপের মধ্যে কোশ্চেন করতে পারবা একজনের কোশ্চেন কে আরেকজন আনসার করতে পারবা বায়োটেকনোলজির যে টার্মিনোলজি কি ওয়ার্ডস গুলো তোমরা শিখছো নতুন এইগুলোকে ব্রাউজ করতে পারবা গুগলে ইন্টারেস্টিং স্টোরি পেলে এইগুলো ফেসবুকে শেয়ার করতে পারবা এবং মেক ইট ফান এবং মেক ইট এনজয়েবল এবং তোমার লার্নিংটা খুবই আনন্দদায়ক হোক বায়োটেকনোলজিতে কারণ হচ্ছে কি আইদার তুমি বায়োটেকনোলজিতে উচ্চ শিক্ষায় যাবা কি না যাবা ডাজ নট ম্যাটার কিন্তু বায়োটেকনোলজি তোমাকে ছাড়বে না যেমন কোভিড নাইনটিন ভ্যাকসিন তুমি ক্যারি করছো এটা হচ্ছে বায়োটেকনোলজি এবং জেনেটিক কোন জেনেটিক্স অ্যান্ড প্লান্ট ব্রিডিং বা অন্য কোন ডিসিপ্লিন দিয়ে তুমি এই রকম ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং একেবারে প্রিসাইজলি তৈরি করতে পারবা না এরকম বিলিয়নস অফ কপি কাজে এটা হচ্ছে বায়োটেকনোলজির পাওয়ার থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ হ্যাভ এ গুড ডে অ্যান্ড আই উইশ ইউ অল সেফ অ্যান্ড সাউন্ড হেলথ বাই